Fuji Saki is here with us. Uh, you heard the story. Let me repeat it for you, Mr. Ambassador, because I know you speak for the Japanese government. A meltdown may be underway at one of uh, Fuji, uh, uh, Fukushima's uh, Daiichi nuclear power reactors. An official with the J Japan's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency told CNN. Uh, what can you tell us about this, Mr. Ambassador? Uh, Chief Cabinet Secretary of Japan has uh, made an announcement uh, uh, in the press conference about this issue. Uh, there was a concern about this reactor. We have uh, confirmed that uh, there was a uh, blow up, but it was not a blow up of reactor nor container. It was a blow up of the outer building. So there was uh, no leakage of uh, radioactive material. And uh, we are now trying to uh, cope with the situation by uh, putting water into salt that reactor. Yeah, salt water into the reactor. And there are uh, some other issues uh, with other reactors as well, uh, which needs some of also injection of water or uh, taking out vapor uh, because uh, of increasing pressure into the uh, container. And uh, we are now working on it. Uh, and, but is it uh, fair to say, Mr. Ambassador, yes. that a meltdown may be underway at this nuclear power reactor? We do not see any evidence of that at of a, this of juncture. Of a meltdown? No. Uh, and your information uh, is based as the only moments ago, a few hours ago. How, how up to date is the information that you have? Uh, we are uh, we're, uh, getting information every hour on this issue. Every hour they're yes. calling Washington, yes. they're briefing yes. you yes. Yes. on what's going yes. on. Yes. Uh, because a meltdown, as you know, is a catastrophic failure of the reactor core, which could spew out radiation, which would be devastating. Yes, uh, I knew that there was concern about this first reactor that you have said, and so uh, we have uh, made a research into that and uh, still working on it, but uh, what uh, our government has uh, announced is that uh, no, it was a uh, blow up of uh, outer building. Would you call it a meltdown? No. You would not call it a meltdown? No. What would you call it? Uh, it was an, uh, uh, I would say that there was a pressure from uh, vapor uh, coming out of a container to blow up the outer building. Uh, we are now working out so that uh, uh, melting will not happen. There was a part uh, melt uh, of uh, there was uh, fuel rod, a Mel melting of fuel rod. Yeah. Uh, 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 there was a part of that. A part but, uh, of that. Yes, but it was nothing like a reactor, whole, whole reactor. Uh, melting down. All right, I want you to hold on for a moment because mm -hmm. Gene Reserve, our Homeland Security mm -hmm. correspondent, is also getting new information on what's going on. What are you learning, Gene? Well, I'm curious to hear what the ambassador uh, is saying here because I've talked to a number of nuclear experts this afternoon who said the information that's coming in is conflicting. It's not complete. It's hard for people who aren't on the scene to figure out exactly what's happening uh, at that reactor. Uh, clearly, it's a very grave situation. Clearly, they've been pushing on this seawater and the boron. Boron is supposed to help stop the nuclear reaction in a effort to try and cool this plant down. But one expert earlier today they called it a Hail Mary sort of approach, an indication uh, that the Japanese were coming to the bottom of their toolbox here. Uh, but I have no information apart from what we've reported from this Japanese official with the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency and what we have the ambassador saying, which is contradictory. I can't tell you exactly where we are in terms of the meltdown situation, Wolf. I, I, that's a good point, uh, Gene. And uh, let me bring the ambassador back in. There is conflicting information coming out. So mm -hmm. what I hear you saying is everyone one should just pause a little bit and wait to get the uh, accurate information. It's, it's now already Sunday morning yes. in uh, Japan, so it's daylight, people are working. And uh, we are working every minute, every second, in order to have uh, the situation under control. And uh, as I said, there's two types, uh, putting water and uh, also 
uh, taking out vapor. It's Here's what she reactors. says, Gene. Yes. This is a Hail yes. Mary maneuver. Mm -hmm. That's a, a term, and some of our viewers around the world may not appreciate it. It's all, almost an act of desperation right now because all of the regular systems failed, not necessarily as a result of the earthquake, but as a result of the tsunami that put that whole power plant basically underwater and killed those coolant mm -hmm. capabilities. Mm -hmm. So we had to put in, uh, because uh, there was not enough uh, clear water at the time, we had to put in seawater, as you have said, and also boron acid, and uh, we are working on this. And uh, 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 they have uh, filled in uh, the uh, tank with these water and now trying to measure it. When will we know for sure whether this is going to be resolved okay or when there it could be and we hope there won't be another Chernobyl? Uh, we're working on it uh, uh, as I said, every minute, every second, but I do not uh, have the uh, capacity to tell you what time, uh, what uh, exact time that uh, we, uh, we can get, have an assurance that uh, this will not uh, develop in an adverse manner. But uh, I think at the moment uh, we do not have any evidence that uh, it is going to worsen. We are uh, putting all efforts to uh, control the matter.